The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman here, not Larry Pesavento. Uh, I'm filling in for this hour. Larry's been filling in this hour for a little while, and I'm doing it today. Larry's going to be away for a little bit, and I uh, need a bit of a break. So I decided I had it. I came back just in time. I had to be out for a little while. I came back just in time to hear that he couldn't do the next hour, so I'm doing it. Here we go. We're looking at the Dow up 30. Uh, let me go to this, and I'll do the. I just did the uh, the uh, uh, the up, two o'clock update. Now what we're looking at is this is the last two hours of the session going to the last two hours of the week, and it's kind of important to see what has happened this week. So I like to look at certain patterns that repeat over and over and over, and within that context. Uh, let me just do this real quickly. I had a request from someone in the den, and we'll do this now because I'll get this done, and then we can go on to all the other things. BCLI is, I think it's called Broad Storm, Broad Storm Cell Therapeutics. Once it, was, it once hit $18 back in uh, 2020, had a little bit of a plummet, and came down to the one point, uh, somewhere around the 1.40s. Just recently, it actually went to one. One dollar and nine cents in uh, November of 2022. So I love to look at patterns that repeat. In the Chapman Wave methodology, what we do is we try to identify a low bar and then count each successively higher bar and, and, and alphabetize them sequentially. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, cap uppercase letters on the way up, lowercase letters on the way down. But on the way up, I have a lot more impor import to the notation. On the way down, it is important, but I really look at the technicals and the patterns. On the upside, once we get to that fourth highest peak, big D, other things can happen. That's as simple as what it is. It is just follow the, follow the wave count, peak A, peak B. If peak A has technical strength, it could get uh, into B. If B gives even more technical strength, it gets upgraded to a buy mode. A buy signal to buy mode means that you should go to D. That's just the way it is. It's as simple as that. It doesn't always do it, but I'd say over 90% of the time it will get to D if the technicals are confirming the rally. That's number one. The other is I look at patterns, straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation, a mix of one and two or one and three. On the way down, if there's an H pattern of sharp move down, then it tries to run and fails at a peak A or B and takes out the left side low, it can go a lot low. Look just right here in the little bit that you can see, there's a peak E in this BCLI um, stock is, is the symbol, and it comes down to trough A and then uh, trough B, and then all of a sudden it stops. But look, there's this H pattern, and it fails and went even lower. On the upside, if it's a Y formation, a, a green reverse Y, it means if you take out the left side high, you can go a lot higher. Then I also look at rectangles. And within the rectangle, you can get uh, just a sine wave that just goes arch cup, arch cup, and it fails. And you keep thinking it's going to break the resistance, and it just oh, it just goes to the edge. And then instead of breaking out, it reverses down. Do you think, oh, this is the one that's going to slam to the downside? It holds that support and goes back up again. Just a little yo-yo within that narrow sideways uh, horizontal trading range. The other one is the large rectangle. Well, within the large rectangle, you can draw an arch, you can draw a cup. There are a whole bunch of things that go on. So now I'll show you exactly what we've got. Here we are looking at, let's go to the monthly chart first. Monthly chart has had a sequence, a sequence of peak A, B, C, Ds, and Es, and then it plummets. Look at that E goes to just about 18, and it slumps down to that $1 level. Now what we've got is that the, the MACD is starting to improve. The stochastic is flat, but okay, 36 in the monthly chart. But look, that nine-period moving average is, a, for the first time, 
I say, I'd say the second time, it deflected lower. But this is the first time where you've got the continuous rallying of the unbalanced volume and the MACD to get this, the vertical lines, the histogram of the MACD to possibly turn positive. And the month is not finished. So I can only say at this point within the month of April, it is up fractionally 0.08 in the MACD. That's a good sign. So that's number one. So it's, it's the first time in a long time that the monthly chart has shown <clears throat> that it has the potential for this being a leg A to actually either this month extend leg A or next month maybe go to leg B. That would be very good news. That's number one. Number two, rectangle formations can last a lot longer than your patients. They start off as a wide one and then they can continue as a narrow one. Wow, talk about that. Look, real time. Look at this. Here's the 10-minute chart of the E-mini. And the E-mini has gone basically from ye from yesterday, uh, right there, at 2.30, at exactly this time, yesterday, on the 20th, the high was right there, as it, as it crossed negative in the uh, 9 period, under the 14 period in the E-mini, uh, S&P E-mini, at 41.59, which is 41.48. Between that, and an hour later, less than an hour later, the low was at 3.30 yesterday. The, uh, four, yeah, 3.30, the low was 41.37. Look how even up until 10 minutes ago, it was totally stuck in this range. It could not get out of the range. A long rectangle formation, and look, that even within that, there was even another narrow one. I have a whole bunch of rules uh, if you listen to my show, The Tiger Technician's Hour, or if, you, um, if you're if you a subscriber to my opening call, when I go through my overview on on this on a weekend to give an overview wrap-up of what's happened and what we're expecting the following week, I go through all these different patterns. Well, lo and behold, um, the, the rectangle has just been broken to the upside, which means two things. One is, if you get to a D, E, or F, above the resistance line, and then you come down <clears throat> and you take out halfway into the rectangle, which would be 4148, and start to close under that, there's a real good chance you can go all the way to the bottom and maybe even take out the bottom support. But <clears throat> we've already been there once. We took it out this morning at just before 11 o'clock, just as my show was finishing, and then it started this big rally, which went to peak A, B, C, D. This happens to be an E. So this is with the MACD goods, the Castic flat at 89%. The relative strength index right there is moving up. On balance volumes a little bit overbought, but acting well. So this is the first time that there is a chance with uh, an hour and 40 minutes to go that the 41.45, no, make it 41.46 level, is now very good support on the day. You never know. I'm just saying that's the way I'm looking at it. And it recycled... <clears throat> Peak A, peak B, peak C in the one-minute chart. Don't have to do that. I just want you to say we're looking at apples to apples, long rectangle formation. We went from a large rectangle formation in the DCLI to a, it's starting to become a long one. But I'm taking this level right here of the fourth of the week of the 4th of November of 2022 of 366 as your resistance. And so far, it's walking the nine period moving average. It's acting quite well. So the weekly chart says we're in a buy mode. And so far, there's nothing negative yet. But this is the candle that you want to defeat, maybe even going to there. So that's 350 to 360 level. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, this is the uh, 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock show. And I'm sitting in. Dow's up 31, S&P's up 7. A lot to discuss as soon as I return. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, 
dollar, yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We're looking at the BCLI. This is Basil Chapman sitting in at uh, two eighteen p.m. this afternoon on on the twenty uh, first of April, Friday. So this is a little mini rectangle that I'll put in right here, and I would just say say to the to to our friend in the den that if BCLI early, it's, uh, you need speed now. It's got to break out with speed. If BCLI is able to get you about three point two one, three point two three preferably by Monday, then there's a real good chance you could try to make a double top going to the 349, 346 level of the 3rd of April. But in the meantime, 260s to 2.40s is really, that's the support that needs to hold. I hope that helps you. Now, looking longer term, the MACD in the weekly chart is good. The 9 is over the 14, but the stochastic's only at 70%. If at any point... I prefer if it was in April. One week, one of the, it's only got one week to go. Sometime next week, if it's able to rally enough and at least to hold into Friday, because I want to see that stochastic closer to 80, 83 percent, and that says, okay, now I can stay, sustain the move. Hope that helps you. Um, next question I had, I'll, I'll go through these real quickly. Um, here we go. Could I look at the commodities? So uh, here we are at uh, 2, as I said, 2, 19 p.m. Eastern Time, a Friday afternoon. Here we go. Wheat does wheat. Uh, wheat is trading. Uh, uh, the pattern that we looked at just now, where I said uh, we're looking at the H pattern, but the H pattern has a formidable cousin, and that cousin is the M. So if you get this pattern right here, and, and so many charts have this, I think I should go through a whole bunch of them right now. Sharply down, and then it makes an H pattern. Three things. One is if this low gets taken out after peak A or a B fails, if it closes under that, it means that 
there's a real good chance it'll only get halfway to the upside, but it's unusual to close above the arch high on any rebound. Number two, if it goes under but closes above, it says, yeah, you could you could actually get to this arch high, and yet again, it's the same thing. Will it sustain it? If, on the other hand, it goes to that low, let's call it a low 20, and it goes to 20, or it goes to 20.1, it means it's held it if it starts to rally, and it can actually go above that arch and hold. Okay, that's the rule of the Chapman Wave methodology. In the lowercase h, that goes to lowercase m. Whoops, wait a minute. Lowercase h in wheat, this is a continuous contract, does wheat, goes right there, makes an h pattern. Oh, then it makes an m pattern. But look, that low uh, back in early March <clears throat> went under it, but it closed above it. And then the next session, it closed below it. And that says, yep, you could rally, but there's a real good chance you're not going to close above that peak B. Well, it spikes and it goes to peak A, another peak A. And because it made a lower low, a trough E over here, you have to start fresh. You can't just continue the count. And then it goes to a B, <clears throat> and that B turns around and it makes yet another arch formation right there. And that holds the left side high, uh, left side low, makes another arch right there. And today's low goes lower than that, but does not go to the low over there. So this is a lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m and then a third h. This says <clears throat> that it is attempting, we just attempting to form a base in this area. That if there is a close right here, if there is a close under at any point, six, this is a continuous contract, 654 round number low. If there is a close under 650, it says now you've lowered the, the, the resistance point and you've also lowered the support. But it does go to leg G in the Chapman wave. That's a G slash C. We'll watch it. But if you look at the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down, in wheat, continuous contract, you know, you're looking at so many prices that are below <clears throat> or almost at the same level where COVID started. So this is telling us that so there's been an amelioration of uh, the sending of wheat. There's been somehow we've managed to get through it, but it's still a problem <clears throat> in terms of now it's the other way around. There's a problem where it was before we couldn't get it. Now you're getting too much, maybe. If you're looking at corn, uh, soybean, soybean, uh, soybean continuous contract, <clears throat> made a peak C in the monthly chart. It's in a rectangle formation there. There should be a rally to a D at some point. This, this technique doesn't give you time. Other techniques give you time. So it's stuck in the range. And if you're looking at the, oops, if you're looking at the weekly chart, look at that rectangle. How long, what's the rule of the rectangle? <clears throat> A large rectangle says, and it was a large rectangle over there, that if it holds the base, <clears throat> starts to make higher highs, higher, higher highs and higher lows, you can get all the way to a peak D under, uh, right on just under the previous high or just above, and then be careful of the midpoint of the rectangle. Well, in this case, it's just been a steady, steady move up, went to a peak F and failed way below the peak that was made, the high that was made right here. The, on the 10th of week of the, uh, weekly, 10th of uh, June, at continuous contract 15.97 and a quarter. Uh, so it's been stuck in the range, and it's still stuck in the range. And it's saying, I mean, even a narrow range between 15.36 and 14.50, say. And it's at 14.82 right now. And confirmation of that <clears throat> says that the daily is making an arch, potential arch formation and at 14.82, the 14.58, 200 period exponential moving average is going to be really keen support. And even if it rallies now, I think it's stuck with 15.10 15, to 15.25, uh, very strong resistance. And wheat, uh, sorry, corn, uh, we've got corn right now, made a peak D in the daily chart. It's pulling back. It's got a pattern in the uh, weekly chart that says, this is a falling axe formation. What is that? That's another technique that I have. Uh, you'll see it in a couple of charts coming up. Here's the falling axe. What it says is when there is a, a rally, and usually it goes to a D, E, or F, but when you start to make lower highs and much lower lows, and then you start to form a base, 
that base says if you can now take out the decline, the upper declining trend line, you could go one to one to the upside to retest that that peak on the left side. But the technicals have to confirm. Well, lo and behold, we went to this inside track repellent zone, and we've been repelled every time. Once again, being repelled in corn, and the weekly chart, monthly chart says, ah, you're just stuck in a range. Same thing. So we've got the grains holding very well, but um, not being able to go much higher at this particular point. So that and sugar had a spectacular move. Look at the sugar move. Sugar made a, a leg E today. It reversed. Uh, it's a leg C in the uh, it's a leg C in the weekly chart and a leg F. Sugar number eleven continuous contract, um, and that I think is putting uh, that that's putting attention on the prices of anything to do with sugar, obviously. So we're watching and what what will be the key support now between it's a 25, 24.32, uh, down 42 cents. I would just say to you, uh, the whole area of 23 to 22 over the next month will be key support for sugar. Uh, looking at LC, which is uh, live cattle. I didn't finish that up. I'll I'll, I'll do some work in the, in the break. What was the other one? CC? Oh, KC. Let's look at the KC. I'll do some of these when we get back. And then I want to look at some of the stocks and some of the indexes. Dow's up 11, S&P's up 5. Basil Chapman sitting in for the 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock hour. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So let me just do this. A couple of things came up, but I'll do it right now. So uh, let me just say uh, high-grade copper. Um, high-grade copper, you see the Chapman Wave inside track res resistance level. See this uh, down channel on the weekly chart? It says that high-grade copper is starting to have some trouble. It was doing very nicely. Now it's coming right back into the range. That's number one. Number two is if you look at wood, the iShares of the global, uh, I, uh, global Timber and Forestry ETF 
also had a nice rally, but he's starting to fail. And this says internationally, maybe internationally, some of this, there's a bit of a slowdown internationally, economically, and that's being represented by Dr. Copper and by the iShares Wood is a symbol of the Timber and Forestry ETF. Now, let's get back to these. So I was looking at uh, live cattle. So live cattle, now one of the problems is that I do every single chart, the thousands and thousands of charts that you see, I do by hand, daily, weekly, monthly, whatever it is, or the one minute, five minute, 10 minute charts of the E-mini, doesn't matter, I, it, it takes me just a moment. Look, the, the price has slipped a little bit because, uh, no, the notation slipped a little bit because I do this by hand. If it was automated, it would say that's the distance between each peak and you can, but this way I have to redo it. But this is a leg D in the live cattle continuous contract. I believe uh, in terms of um, looking at the summer months, this is where you would see, usually you'd see prices. Let me just double check what I'm saying here. There's June, July. Yep, there's the summer months, a good rally. Last year, June, July, it was steady. There was a bit of a rally. And now there's much more of a rally. So going into the summer months. And that's just saying that based on uh, this particular technique, now, let me show you something in the monthly chart. Let me just open it up a little differently. I'll open it like that. Here's the weekly. So the weekly, you see this. these channel lines, they should be at the bottom. It turns out the one at the bottom has now become the one at the top, and the notation's over here. But look what happened. This went G slash C, alternate count, then to D. This is either an E or a brand new move to the upside in the weekly chart, but it's broken from years of sideways action. So... Cattle is moving sharply higher, and uh, these are the techniques that I use. And look at the symmetry here. If I had to do, I can't make this up. You're looking at it as I'm looking at it here, completely fresh. Look, if I do bar symmetry from this cup formation, remember we're all about cup and arch formations and straight lines. Look, there it is. There it is. There it is. It'll become even clearer now when I go like this and I go click, new parallel, I make it green. Now, remember, I'm not making any of this up. What you're seeing is what I'm seeing. It either works or it doesn't work. But this is the bar symmetry that I love to work with. Bar symmetry, move this over right. You don't have to have any chap wave techniques. You don't have to have Fibonacci. You don't have to have anything. You just need the price. And you need a trend line. Or you need to be able to draw a line. I happen to be lucky with Trade Station. It gives me rectangle formations. But you could use a single line. And lo and behold, where does it stop? It stops right there. Let me put an X right there. So what does it do? It gives you the time sequence that says in this particular time, if the rally continues, there should be a move that takes you to and name the level. In this particular case, we'll name the level of right there from the high. This is a continuous contract, LC. Uh, on the 19th of, this is a weekly chart, the week of the 19th of February 2021, it hit 155, it's called 156. It says that by Feb, um, the week of February the 3rd, 2023. Now, I'm not sure about you, but let me go through this. I would say 21 minus 23, that's two points. So that's two years. And look what happened. It went to that level right there. It was four weeks early, but it went right there to 156.25. And look what happened. You got the double U formation right here. There's your second U. And even this could have been divided into that's where I would have put it, but this is where it went. So it was a little lopsided. Uh, isn't that a nice technique? And this I'll be discussing in a webinar that I'm preparing to do um, coming up uh, early May, and it's going to discuss some of these techniques and discuss the, the stocks, the indexes, the uh, commodities that I really like that I think are actually acting well, where gold's going, what I, what I'm, what's impl implicit in the work that I do. So this is a peak A. Look, here's your lowest low bar, so you can put an up arrow in there. So that's peak A, and all I do is letter it. There's your A. Simple. You know, and, and some people aren't able to do all this. They just put a little dot. They, they know what it is because they put different dots. And there's your C. And then what do I get? I get this pattern right here that says Chapman Way falling axe formation. Remember the one that I showed you with the lower highs and lower lows? I call it the falling axe because it looks like a declining cone with a long handle. And there it is. And it says very, very clearly 
that I'm going to make it a little conservative. I'm not going to go to the top of that wick because there are, are candle highs over there that I need to hit first. If if um, live cattle continuous contract can get you, it's at 164. If it can trade, uh, if it can take out 165.92, the high that was made that peak B of 166.275, the moment you go one penny above, it starts leg C. And that's going to be very important. Right now, the key support is the one in the 162 to 161 area. All right. Look at uh, uh, coffee. CC. Is that coffee or is that cocoa? Continuous contract. If I can actually see what it is. I think it's cocoa. Yeah, cocoa. So look at this. There's your D. I didn't finish this. There's your E. Oh, I had a question. I said I'd get to it. And I haven't. I think I hope I wrote it down. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. E. Yeah, you saw it at the 200 period moving average. It holds it. It held it before. That was key support just above it. And now it's gone peak A, B, C, D, E. It's getting a little toppy. But the technicals are still very strong. A, B, C, D, E. Ah, how about that? And the weekly chart, this is an E, but it could be E slash B, because it could be a brand new move to the upside. Wait a minute. Could be C, right? Yeah, there it is. So this is, that could be A, this could be E slash B, F slash D, and there you got your D. So you're already at D in the weekly chart, and the monthly chart is just a single leg A to the upside. So Coco is also on a tear to the upside. Let's look at KC, which I think is coffee. Yeah, coffee. Coffee continuous contract. Went to a peak E slash C. The reason why I put the alternate count is sometimes the technicals are confirming and sometimes they are just a little hesitant. So I need to say, I need to be prepared that at this point it could actually fall deeper if it takes out the high that was made right here in the continuous contract of coffee on the 22nd of February of 192.25. What's the low today? 190. Oh, 190.16. So it's taken out. I've got to be prepared that they might, even though the technicals are good, there might be a failure if it gets under 187. That's a failure. I'm going to call that an E, and then it's a big consolidation. But in the meantime, it's had a very good move. Now it's consolidating that. So, um, yeah. So those are the questions. I just wanted to show you some things. Now, I wrote down. Let me see if I've got it in front of me. Of course, it will never be in front of me because oh, I, so, I've, I circled it. But, of course, I've circled <laughs> so many things here. Um, important, important, yep, 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 there. I'm going right there, right there, right there. Uh, what is this? Is this TSLA? Sometimes I write so quickly and then I can't figure out where. So, okay, questions came up about Tesla. So I didn't have a chance to do this. I, th I think I spoke about it during the morning yesterday or the day before, but I had written, drawn in the left side, right side. There's the dreaded H pattern in Tesla. There's the resistance at the 200 period moving average. And what I did is I did a left side, right side price time match to um, the 20th. And that would have targeted 165. Bam, it hit that and today's trading at 165.12. That's the same technique I was just Sharpening about. your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So just, I, I had questions about Apple and JetBlue, but I'll go there in a moment. Let me just show you something. When I was speaking about double bottoms and double tops and, and price symmetry, look at the dollar. The dollar's down 10 cents at 101.74 right now. Look at this beautiful uh, pyramid pattern. Straight up, straight down. And there's your plumb line, the midpoint at 105.88 on the 8th of March. The low on the left side is on the February the 3rd, 100.82. And what does it do? Uh, it comes down. Yes, you have wave inside wedge target support line. Pink on the way, dash pink on the way down. Green, dash green on the way up. And what does it do? It comes right back down. And three days late. It was a little bit late, three days. And then what happens? It hits 100.79. Um, and that was on the April the 14th. Eh, 14th. April the 14th. I've got to put this in because I keep talking about it. April the 14th, so we've got 4, 14, 23. So, um, and now it's trying to rally, but stalling like this, when the when gold is coming down, I just think that the dollar has tremendous pressure. The week, the monthly chart, I've still got, I'll wait until the end of April, but at this point I'm calling an alternate count F slash C, and that corresponds to the UUP, which we've been long since uh, um, 2018. The dollar index. So that has held well, you see. And even when we came down, our st our entry point at 90.07 via the UUP uh, in the 23s um, held. We we watched it go all the way to. Look at this. We watched it go the dollar. Let me just get back to the dollar since I'm talking about the dollar. Watch it go all the way to 100 and where was it? Dollar, dollar. Oh, have I lost the notations here? We, go, we went to 100 and we, we, since 2018, we went to 102.99, then came back and retested, but it retested and didn't take us out. So we've been long and we've taken a little bit off, but we've been long all the way through September 2022. The high was 140.78. And here we are at 101. Yes, it's starting to weaken quite a bit. I can see it coming down. I have to tell you something. I consider the dollar to be the what used to be the Harley Davidson icon. Uh, when around the world you could say Harley Davidson or Louis Armstrong, and everybody knew exactly what you were talking about in America. But 
Um, at this particular point, I'm still thinking that's the icon and that represents the U.S. economy, which is the strongest in the world, still one of the strongest in the world. Um, and I think that that's going to be represented by the dollar going high. That's just my impression that, of things that are going on. We'll see what happens there. But here's your H pattern, big one, with a lowercase h. So holding this 100 area is going to be really important. Um, and that, so we're looking at this a scan saying, hey, how come you didn't move up into the 103s rather than um, stalling in the 10220 area? Okay, so now the question about Apple. So Apple, I think that was more short term, but I just want to say Apple has held beautifully. It made a peak D two, two days ago, and that uh, is over the inside wedge. Uh, so inside track repellent zone right here. So, so far, this is now was, which was resistance is now support, making the 159, 158 area really important to hold. We're at 164. You can see the same thing with the falling X pattern in the monthly chart, that, that expanding cone. If the dollar any week is able to close above 173, I would say that's a nice breakout in the weekly chart, and that's helping the monthly chart. Okay, but I think the question was shorter terms. So and let me show you something here. You can apply this technique to anything because it's it's the same application. It's human nature. The, the chart is just a fractal of human nature. It made a peak E in the 10-minute chart. The E-mini, if it takes out 4141, if it closes under 4146 in the next 20 minutes, there's a good chance we can actually sail all the way down to 4135. If it holds it, then you're stuck between 41, say, 55 and 41.46. All right, now let's go to Apple. Okay, here's the Apple chart. So you see, this is that flat. I don't like flat like this because it's making the lowercase h holding well. That goes to a lowercase m. I just grab the rectangle and I go, oh, 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 until you can break out from this particular pattern. You can stay here for quite a while. This is a few hours already in the 10-minute chart. But wait a minute, don't we always look for peak Ds? Let's just go to the last big move. Look at that, 200 period moving average becomes support. That's all you just, let it sit there. You don't have to do it, you have to talk about it. You don't do anything. When it gets hit you, or gets close, you know that it becomes important. Peak A, peak B, peak C. Did I know this was happening? No way on earth. I just grabbed the chart, saw it for the first time like most of you, 10-minute chart of Apple, and lo and behold, what did it do on the way up? Well, 200 period moving average is extremely important. Look at this. It held it before uh, at 419. That was a couple of days ago. The 10 minute chart, and then it rallied peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. Now, this is what's called a chance of an instant restart because within three bars after D, it made a new high, uh, higher than D. And therefore, it says now you can have an alternate count. You don't need to use it. Just keep it in mind that it's available. And it says, as long as the technicals are good, that's what you're going to be looking at. So it's got to the D. This is an E right here. E. And there's your F. And then it goes what? It goes flat. And what does it do? It does a little mini narrow rectangle. Narrow rectangle can last a lot longer than your patience. But be careful, because if it pops up and then goes underneath the previous the, the, the base of the rectangle, you can get a sharp move down. Bam, it went. So that's your analysis. And what is it saying right now? It says, whoo, uh, it's just stuck in a range. There's just nothing to see here. Uh, I, I, I find I lose the most amount of money if I'm trading by trying to trade, break, try the, trade the, the breakouts, upside or downside. I've learned over the years now, step aside, or you short when it gets to that level, and you buy when it goes to that level. And you can sometimes you can make as much in the bounces up and down than you can in one straight line. But it's a little tricky because if it takes out your stop, if it takes out that trend line resistance, be careful because it can go quite a bit higher. All right, so Apple right now, <clears throat> I don't see a trade. <laughs> um, so uh, Fletch says, we don't want your stinking American dollars. What movie was that line in? Yeah. Uh, I, I remember it well, but I don't remember what, what the, uh, where it was from. Now, that's the other thing. Internationally, there's been a move towards moving away from the dollar. But when something is so strong historically, and I'm talking about not just over the last year or two, 
for decades and decades and decades, the dollar has been the prime uh, currency. That's just not going to go away. And you will find that even those that are going trying to go elsewhere, at some point they might be forced back into the dollar. Or this is the big breakdown for the for next uh, rest of civilization where the dollar is done. So I wanted to show you something else that just came to mind. What would I do if I looked at this Apple chart and I said, oh, my. That, look at that candle. Breaks down, and then it's a huge green candle and reverses back up from the 200 pre moving average, which before was fabulous uh, propellant. I grab that and I say, aha, if it rallies, this is what I'm expecting, that it will stall right here. And I do a measured move from the left side to the right side, and lo and behold, it's stalled right there and produced yet another arch formation. Arch formation one, arch formation two. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. This is Basil Tappen being the 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock hour. What we're looking at is, remember I spoke about the large rectangle formation, that if it sharply pulls back and then starts to make higher highs and higher lows, it can go to a peak A, B, C, even a D, just under, right on or just above the previous high, and then be careful if it pulls back and takes out halfway into the rectangle. So what did we get? We got in JetBlue, this is the monthly chart, back in 2020, February, it starts from 2165, 
In two sessions, it plunges down to the sixes. It goes to 6.61. Then it starts to move. It goes peak A, pulls back. Peak B, pulls back. And then peak C goes to where? For two bars, it goes to 21.73, March of 2021. 21.96 the next month, at fourth, uh, uh, April, uh, exactly two years ago. It goes above, but it cannot close above the 21.65 high that it had made back in uh, February of 2020. And then what happens is it takes out the halfway marker right here. Let me just do this halfway marker right there of the rectangle. And lo and behold, I, I, I can't make this up. I have to do this in front of you. I'm going from the low that was made in March of 2020. I'm going to the high that was made with a long-legged doji candle right there. Uh, what did I say that was? I think I said it was April, right? Yeah, April of uh, 2021. Um, I'm going to that high. And then I'm going click right here. And I'm going to go new. That's red. This becomes green. This becomes green. And before I put it in, I look at the left side high and I say, okay, if I take a diagonal trend line. Oh, that's the end of the show. Oh, my goodness. Hey, have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter, and uh, Tom O'Brien should be up in a moment. Time flies when you're having fun. Look, it missed it by a few months getting to the exact low. Anyway, I'll be back. Check this out on Monday when I do my show at 10. Check it out. I do these things all the time. Have a great weekend. <laughs>